Well, springtime is here, as you can see. The grass is green, the air is warm, it's camping season, and you need to get the rig ready. We're gonna show you what to do to dewinterize your camper. Dewinterizing is very simple, and I'm gonna show you how. Let's put the slides out. Always wanna make sure cabinet doors, drawers, everything's closed up, nothing's in the way. We don't wanna break anything when we're opening the slides. At this point, you're gonna to wanna to turn your batteries on before you attempt to run your slides in and out. Doesn't look like anything's in the way. We're gonna hit the button and see what we got. Process, we're gonna take the city water hookup, connect it, and we're gonna run water through all the plumbing lines and get all the pink antifreeze out. On this camper, what we have here is a suburban water heater. Every time you winterize your camper, you're gonna pull this out, let it all drain out, inspect the rod. This rod, it's showing some wear on it, but it's got a lot of meat left on it. So we're gonna put that back in, tighten it up, just snug it up. You don't have to uh, put a whole lot of mustard on it. You just wanna tighten it up enough that it doesn't leak. Now, before I go inside to open the valves to let the water into the tank, I'm gonna open my pressure relief valve here. And then as the tank is filling with water, as soon as it starts coming out of the pressure relief valve, I'll close this off. And what that does is it allows an air pocket in the top of the water heater so that when the water is being heated, the water expands and that air pocket allows for that expansion. Sometimes during camping season, you'll notice that your pressure relief valve is dripping and what that is, is you've lost your air pocket. And so all you need to do is just turn off the water, come open your pressure relief valve. When it stops dripping, close it back off, turn your water back on, and you'll have your air pocket back. Now that we're inside, come to the kitchen sink, for example. We're gonna turn on the cold. You see all the lovely pink, and we'll just let that run until it's clear. And then we'll kick it over to the hot side and do the same thing again. Kitchen faucet's done. Come to our bathroom and do the same thing. Remember to do both the hot and the cold side to get all the antifreeze out. And there's no worries if you don't get all of the antifreeze out of the line. It is a non-toxic formula and it's completely harmless. It won't hurt you. Now we'll turn around and do the toilet. But the toilet doesn't have a hot side. <laughs> Just by the way. And there you go. All clear. Ready to use. And then we'll go and do the valves on the back of the water heater to allow the water to fill the tank. If you look under there at the water heater, we got two valves. Some setups are three valves, and I've even seen setups where it's just one valve. But right now those valves are pointing in the direction of the hose, which tells me it's in bypass mode. So we're gonna turn those valves so they're pointing at the water heater, and then that way the cold water will be filling the tank. And then after we close the pressure relief valve, the water will be coming out the top of the tank when hot water is called for.